Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well, by the way. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I've been looking forward to doing this for, uh, for a while now, and I am finally, I'm, very, I'm actually very happy to finally get to it. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to be trying to do, or what I'm going to do is to try to teach Java, okay? I'm going to try to teach the concept, explain it so it's clear to, um, to everyone. I'm going to I'm going to do my best to talk about the concept and, and and everything just to make sure that we are all clear on it. So yeah, I'm very excited to to get to it. Now in this video, I want to, I want to talk about um, a bit about how how it's going to be how the how the, a bit of the structure and talk about the software that I'm going to be using or we are going to be using to well I'm going to be using you can choose to use something else. So the software that um, we or I <laughs> I'm I'm going to be using to write our Java programs. All right, so the way this is going to go is I'm going to make very focused videos. So it's going to be short videos. Some are going to be long, of, of course. Some are going to be long, yeah, depending. But the goal is to be uh, is to make focused videos on 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 very specific things. So for example, there can be a, a very two minute video or a five minute video. Or even a seven-minute video, or you know, something like that, of of a, of a very specific, you know, concept. And so, if you wanted to just go and watch that particular or specific concept, you can just watch that video. At the same time, all the videos will be um, added to a playlist. So, if you wanted to learn um, the whole Java in one go, you can just watch the playlist. And so, in in essence, when you watch the playlist, you are learning Java. But if you wanted to just watch on or just uh, yeah, watch a video or watch a concept, uh, in a very small concept, let's say, how to do one one particular specific thing. You can watch that particular video and move on. So so that's that's what I, what I wanted to say. Okay, so now to the software that I'm going to be using. Um, so these softwares that basically allow us to write our, our programs, they are called IDEs, okay, or Integrated Development Environment. All right, it's just a fancy term for any software that is going to allow us to write our code okay so what it's going to do is it's going to take our so our code and then translate it to the machine that you're writing your code on okay it's going to take our code and translate it to a, a language that the machine that you're writing your code on understands that language is called machine language and because that machine understands that machine language because your code has been translated to that, that language that your machine and machine understands it can run our program so we can see it and then be happy and smile and say wow okay this program looks good <laughs> so that's that's a cheeky way of explaining it but that, that's what happens that's what these programs do they're called ids and ides allow us to write our code it translates our code into machine language and the machine is able to run it so we can smile and be happy and <laughs> yeah so with java that there's an extra step though when we write our code it's translated or in other words it's compiled you can say compiled so it's basically translated to a language or or a code okay a code called byte code first that's what it, that's what happens first and th and there's a benefit with java because in, with java you can run it on windows mac and for example linux okay multiple operating systems with other languages you can't um, so the reason why it's compiled to or translated to byte code first is, first is because you can now take the byte code and run it on the individual machines, whether it's Windows, uh, Mac, or Linux, okay. So that byte byte code is further translated to the the uh, the code basically further further translated to machine language, the code okay, or, the, or the language that your your specific machine understands, okay. So that it can run your programs, all right. So that's the benefit with Java. It's the, your code is first the IDE first translates your code to byte byte code byte code. If you run it on let's say Windows, it, you know that that byte code is going to be translated to the machine language that particular Windows computer understands. You can run that byte code on Mac, and it, it's going to be further compiled. That byte code is going to be further compiled to the machine language that your the Mac understands. So that particular MacBook understands, and you can run that byte code on let's say. Linux and and that bytecode is going to be compiled or translated further to the machine language that the machine understands. So bytecode basically allows it to basically move around. You can run it on any computer, and then it, that computer is go, or basically that language is going to be that bytecode is going to be translated translated further to the machine language that 
that particular computer understands. And that's that's the extra step there. But apart from that, with, all, with most languages, we type in our code in our IDEs and ID translates it to machine language. But with Java, bytecode first and then to machine language. So, so that's what the software is going to do. It, it, it also gives us some um, fancy you know, f functionality to make coding um, easy and, and a breeze. But, <clears throat> um, oh yeah. So the one I'm going to be using is, is Dr. Java, okay? It's Dr. Java. The reason why I chose to stick with, um, or I chose doc Dr. Java is simply because it's simple. It's simple, it's plain. I had I had a good experience with it. It's very, it's, you know, I've had a, in a really good experience with it. It runs smooth, it just works. And it's simple and plain. And I, I highly recommend it because, you know, it's, it's, it's simple. It doesn't give us any confusing functionality that we have to worry about. We just write our code, compile it, or basically translate it into machine language, and then it's done. Well, in Java, it's bytecode first in machine language. So, so Dr. Java is simple and plain, and that's why I like it. But there are so many IDEs out there, or um, there's so many IDEs out there. You can also use a text editor, a text editor, and and um, not 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 a word processor, right? A word processor comes with extra stuff. When you type your co code, it's going to come with extra formatting um, stored in the code, so you can't really process it. But we want a plain text editor, right? Plain text, just plain text, um, uh, an, an editor that can just handle plain text, and and an, an editor that does that doesn't come with any extra formatting with your code, just plain text. An ID is, sim is simply a, an advanced version of a, of, a, of, a, of a text editor. So you can use a text editor too. In, in that sense, an ID is a text editor with extra functionality. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sticking with Dr. Dr. Java because it's plain and, and simple and easy. But like I said, there are multiple IDEs out there. There's, a, there's the Eclipse IDE. Basically, I recommend Dr. Java because it's simple, but go ahead and use the IDE of your choice. Okay, if you don't want Dr. Java. Um, so yes, that's just a little bit about the IDE. So now let me show you how to install it, right? So I'm going to go online and you can simply just type in install Dr. Java online. And this is their website. Um, I, I'll be sure to put the link in the description so that you can go there. So you can just go to Dr. Java and the inst installation is right, right on the home page. So you can download the Java file and it shows you how to install it. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you in a second. You can download the Windows or the Mac version. Now there are some problems with the Mac version, so I get that. I get that in a second. But the Windows version should be straightforward. So you can just click on this, install it, and you're, and you're done. Now the Mac version, when you download it and install it, now you you you'd also need another you know Java SE. You know when you install it, basically your Mac. Will, will probably will complain to you that it can't run it with the Java, um, you know, version on your system, right? Because Mac OS, for, you know, to, to in order to run the Dr. Java, Mac OS only requires I think Java six or so. So it will redirect you. But it will basically tell you that in, in order to run Dr. Java, you need Java SE six, and then there will be a button that says that says Learn More or OK. When you hit Learn More, it, it basically going to open a page to that Java 6. So just download it and you're all set. And you're all set. Now, so this is the download download links, but you can also click on the um, for example how to run and it tells you how to basically how to run all of them, right? With the jar file it tells you what to do in the command line. But for you know, in most cases when you go to the home page you can just download these and you're fine. The Windows app or the Mac OS app. And um, yeah, but you can encounter some problems with the Mac. I know that sometimes you have to turn on, um, um, turn uh, change Gatekeeper over here. So when you go to System Preferences, you can you can yeah you can change Gatekeeper. Um, when you go to Security and Privacy, you can change it to download apps from anywhere, which is not necessarily secure. But then if you are sure of the of the app and you know that it's not it's it's nothing dangerous, you can just well, well, keeping it on anywhere is is bad. It's going to basically download any software, but you can keep it on. You can still keep it on these options: Mac, Mac App Store, or let's say Mac App Store and identify developers. But when you are launching an application, you can hold Control, hold Control, click on the app, and hit Open, and that is going to create an exception for just that particular software. So that that means that just for just for that particular software, yeah, you are Control clicking on, it's going to allow it. 
every time. You don't have to do it every time. It's just one time, and it's going to create an exception for that particular software, so you can run it every time. Anywhere, me, I've, uh, for me, I've said it as I've said it as anywhere, just because I, I I have control of the softwares I'm installing. I, you know, I I know them, so I'm fine with it. I'll probably change it back, but for now, it's it's fine. If you if you put, if you put it on anywhere, you don't you won't have a problem. Um, I think in Mac OS Sierra, you you know, it comes with even extra problems. But basically, from in most cases, um, downloading it from here should be straightforward. Um, it it should it should work. If you, you for Java, you, it will point you to the Java SE, so you can um, install it on your computer. Java SE six, so you can install 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 it on your computer. And then if you encounter the the uh, the point, or you, you reach the point where it, where it just it just doesn't run, just make sure that you control click on it just to set an exception for that particular app, um, and you'll be fine. So. Um, I actually uninstalled mine and, and it took me, I, I found it difficult reinstalling it back. So I actually got a, a, d a different version from Rice University. You can see over here that it's being developed by the J Java PLT group at Rice University. So I got a different version. Um, it's, um, when I go to my applications here, I got this version. It's a Java version. Did I put it in my applications or not? Ah, yeah, right here. So I got the Java version, so that that's what I use. So let me just open that up, close this, close that, and it should open. Yeah, it should open in a second. Uh, it's just so you, uh, you, you you're just going to see how it looks like right now. So so that's it. It's simple and it's plain. It has a few a few options. So this is basically the button that's going to allow us to compile our code to bytecode and then to machine language, so that the machine can run our code. Okay, we, we, are, we write our code, we compile it. It's, it's basically taking our code and, and, and telling the, and basically converting it to bytecode first, then to machine language, so that the computer can understand it. Machine language is basically ones and zeros. Taking our code, changing it to ones and zeros, so the machine can understand and run it. So this button is what we're going to do. And once we, we, once we change it to the, the language the machine can understand it, we run it. We tell the machine to, okay, now, now that you understand it, run it for us so we can see our programs and smile and be happy. <laughs> So that's what's going to happen. This is the editor. I will probably walk through how to turn on the line numbers and all that stuff. But it's th that's like a, a minute or so. It's not going to take too long. In the next video, um, I'll, we'll start with learning Java. And so that, that's it for this video. There's really nothing more. I didn't really do a full installation because I, you know, I went through so many problems with it. But like I said, for most cases, I had to actually downgrade to OS El Capitan in, uh, in Mac just to be able to run this version of it. And I even forgot where I got this one from. But if you're having um, difficulties, please um, comment down below, and I'll I'll do everything to help you get Dr. Java installed. If if indeed you want to use Dr. Java, if not, feel free to in uh, install the IDE you want, and then we'll move on from there. So that's it for this video. There's really not uh, a lot here, um, you know, apart from what what I've just said. In the next video, we'll start learning it. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Uh, I'm really excited to do this. So I'll see you next time in the next program, um, Teaching Java. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.